Hi. In this movie, we will show how to connect Resmode SCADA HMI software to Remote I.O. via a PC interface. As Remote I.O., we will use analog input module I-7070. Connected to PC serial port wire isolated automatic converter. As OPC server, we will use a free version of NAP OPC DA server previously installed on our PC. Our task is to read real-time data from our model and visualize on PC the voltage from regulated DC power supply wired to the sixth input of the model. At first, let's download and install free SCADA Trace Mode 6 integrated development environment. For that purpose, visit Adastra Research Group website and click on the link SCADA HMI Download. Then we will do the following actions. First, connect IO model I7070 to PC serial port via converter. Second, start NAPA PC D server and find our model. Then start up monitor mode and make sure that data exchange with model is correct. Third, save the current configuration on disk with default name and close NAPA PC server. Now we launch the free SCADA trace mode development system and using the icon located at the left upper corner we create a new project in easy style. Let's start our project from the layer sources receivers where we describe tag inside NAPA PC server reading data from the 6 analog input of our model I7070. For that we open context menu using right mouse button and select group OPC. In this group we create a new group OPC server for using OPC day specification and here we create a new component OPC. Now we open uh, the created component for editing by double clicking and change name of this component to AI and look input. In order to fill uh, the top parameters let's press the button browse and then in the opened window of a PC browser we select NAPA PC server. In the left section in the right section we select our model and our tag channel 5 uh, because numbering begin from 0 and then press button OK. We can see that parameter stop filling was performed automatically. After that we drag and drop this component to the group channels of RTM1 node in our project tree. Connection with the PC server is established. Now we will view the real time data from our model on operator HMI. Let's open the component screen for editing and insert in the left upper corner trace mode logo. 
uh, we should choose the layer resources and make the group images. After that we will make component image library and open it for editing. Using the icon import insert one of the trace mode logos to our library. OK. After the separation, we return to the Trismode graphic editor and using the resources icon, we will go to image library and drag and drop Trismode logo to the defined place. In order to show voltage value on our screen, we should drag and drop our channel with the name AI to the argument screen table with the help drag and drop. Uh, the voltage data are situated in the channel attribute real value. We will visualize the data by means of such graphic elements as text gauge and trend. And now let's insert these graphic elements on our screen. Text. Gauge. Trend. Uh, let's link the graphic element text with the our argument with the help drag and drop. Uh, in order to link argument and graphic element trend, we also use drag and drop method the same as uh, with graphic element text. But we need fulfill the following changes. We change color of curve line, thickness and change the maximum value up to 10 volts DC. OK. Uh, in order to visualize voltage on uh, the graphic element gauge, we open its properties by double clicking, open internal attribute monitored value and with the help drag and drop link our argument with this attribute. Uh, the scale is kept unchanged by default. Then uh, using uh, this icon we compile project for real-time monitor. It's necessary to do in order to run our project in the real-time mode under the smooth runtime software, real-time monitor. Uh, in order to run our project for debugging, we will use a profiler built-in uh, in the Trismo development system. For this purpose, let's highlight RTM1 node in the project tree by left button and click this icon with the running man. OK. Uh, then click the same icon to run our application. Note uh, that the PC server will be loaded and started automatically. So now we can see that our graphic elements show voltage value, text, trend and gauge. In order to change voltage value, we will rotate the tuning knob and observe change on our graphic screen. Look. Hm. 
Okay. Hence, in a few minutes, we have successfully connected to a local PC server, wired remote to PC client, and we have built in a simple HMI on PC. Now we stop profiler and finish our movie. Thanks for your attention and bye.